Hartford Planning Board, Tuesday, March 26, 2024. I'm going to just read some general opening remarks. All meetings of the Fitchburg Planning Board are open to the public. This does not mean that the public participates in all aspects of the meeting. It simply means that the meeting itself, including all discussions and votes, is open for public view. If you wish to address the board regarding a public hearing, please raise your hand and the board will acknowledge you at the appropriate time during the hearing. The board will also monitor any participants that are attending virtually for questions at the appropriate time. Virtual attendees are asked to use the raise hand function to be acknowledged. One, state your name and address. Two, approach the center table and either stand or sit. This allows you to be seen and heard clearly by everyone in attendance. Three, the planning board requests that comments be limited to no more than five minutes in the interest of time. Please be advised that FATV is conducting audio and video recording of this meeting for public broadcast, and I ask that anyone in the audience who is recording this meeting to please identify themselves for the record now by stating their name and address. Not all right. And our first order is to just take roll call vote. Not vote, but presence or absence. And I'll just take attendance so we have this recorded. Alin, just say if you're here. Present. Present. Oh, here, present. Yep. Um, Amanda. Here. Ah, awesome. I was surprised. Thank you. <laughs> Peter. Present. Paul. Here. Tracy. Present. Paula. Present. And Alex is not present yet. He's running late. All right. Our first item this evening, we have our approval not required plans for which we have three. The first one is 920 Ashburnham Hill Road, Dominic Howe Jr., Division of Land, Lot 78R50, and conveyance of vacant land called an outlot to increase the size, the lot size of, a, of the abutting lot, which is 78R60, to 21,243 square feet with remaining land of 88,925 square feet. So it's just, and if you want to come up and say anything at the podium, well, welcome to sure, do so. I'm, I'm just, I'll be here if you guys have any questions. Okay. My name's, uh, John McCown. So just stand at the podium, just so. Sure. Yeah, right there, just because we have people virtually, so everybody okay. can hear and hear. All right, uh, Dominic Howe, 920 Ashburn Hill Road. Great, yep. thank you. So it's pretty much just, I think as is predicted, as shown on the plan, is just increasing lot size from one Correct. to the other. Adding right. approximately another half acre. All right, thank yep. you. Is that it? That's it. And then, um, what, any planning board? Do we have any questions? No. Nope. No, it looks straightforward. All right. Just sign. Okay. Is the marker up there too? Yep, there's two of them. Perfect. Yep. Thank you, Shanta. You're welcome. How are you, Amanda? Good. How are you? Good. We need a minimum of four signatures on the a and <laughs> You want to do it? You want me to do it? I can do it. Okay. I'll do it more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
right, so we're all set with that one. Our next a and r approval not required under the subdivision control law, is 5th Mass Turnpike, Montchusett Regional Transit Authority, MART, Division of Land, which is lot 269-16-0, in conveyance of parcel C on that lot. And Paul, we, Paul's bring that, bring that, the plan up. Parcel C. This is parcel C, right? 13,607 square feet. And parcel D. Six, D is over here. 6,836 square feet to the city of Fitchburg. With parcel E, there's one little parcel E left. Yep, top left. Of 17,124 square feet remaining with MART. Um, and it looks appears that the land conveyance could be towards processing of establishing uh, either a new or extended public way or a turnaround at the end of Fifth Mass Turnpike, it looks like, too. Looks like a, a turnaround. You want to say anything, George? <coughs> George Kahali, representing uh, Mart, a uh, long time. Yes. Hola. <laughs> See you again. Uh, no, uh, this is uh, part of the Fifth Mass Turnpike. Uh, about uh, 2012, uh, the city discontinued Fifth Mass Turnpike uh, to build, uh, to allow Mart to build the station, Wachusa Station, and uh, build a cul de sac for the resident of Fifth Mass Turnpike. Uh, we completed uh, the project uh, sometime in 2017-18, and now. Uh, we want to return uh, some of the land uh, to uh, the city of uh, Fitchburg. Uh, uh, parcel uh, C is uh, Mart, uh, parcel C and E, uh, Mart uh, <coughs> purchased that land from uh, Claghorn at that time, and we, <coughs> and we used uh, only uh, uh, C to build uh, the cul-de-sac and uh, the D is uh, the discontinued fifth mass turnpike which owned by the railroad company and Mart has to purchase it from them and now we are returning uh, these two parcels to the city of uh, Fitchburg. Okay. And just so everyone sees, the aerial that's up there now is what it looks like. So it's the road's already there. It's just yes, it is beautiful. You should see it. Yep, I've been down there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, neighbors have been playing in it. It's very large. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. So this is just a, a follow-up of a, the land conveyance to help uh, the process of establishing either the the street, the layout. Yeah. Did they already do, do you know, did they already, just, this doesn't impact the A&R, but did the city already do the, the public works conveyance, I mean the, uh, the public street conveyance to, to already make it a public way, or is that happening? It happened. It already happened. Yeah. This is just land transfers then. Yes. Okay. okay. All yeah. right. Well, good. All right. Any, using it. any questions from the board? Looks great. All right. Okay. All set. Thank you. Slide. Thank you, sir. That's the only thing I was given. There's no mylar? Uh, there's right. just the mylar. I don't have an additional. So mylar. my suggestion is sign the mylar now and hold it until you get a paper copy. Okay. And then you can just, you can sign the paper copy saying we signed it at our meeting. Okay. Because that's just for our records. Right. The mylar is the one that gets recorded. Exactly. So I would just hold on to it until you get a paper copy. Okay. Uh, we submit the... Uh, uh, the paper copies and the uh, digital uh, copy, but we gave it to the wrong person. Okay. We gave it to the Department of Public Work. Okay. We, we can get them from there. Yeah, and, and I'm sure if you know who you gave it to, Chantel yes. can get it from them too, so yes. that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay.
Do, do, you need the, do you need this immediately? Can we hold on to this until we get a copy? That way we make sure the city has a copy of this plan? Yeah, no problem, because I have to record this. Uh, you're right, we're right. So, so once we figure out where it came from, you can come get that and then record yeah. it. Uh, right? Chantal will give me a call. Thank you. I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, thank you. I mean, quite honestly, it's not really a risk with Mark because they're going to record it. It's only a problem if no, if they don't end up recording the plan because you can always get it at the registry. But if they don't record the plan, that's why we keep a copy so that the city has evidence that that happened. But okay. the next A and R is three eighty to five. 516 and 483 to 511 John Fitch Highway by GFB Fitchburg LLC, Clay Pond Fitchburg LLC, and Bourne Acquisition LLC, which is a division of land to create 10 lots with frontage, and, and then there's a number of square footages from lots 1 through 10. We bring that plan up. Good evening. Good evening, Madam Chairman. Bear me with me for one second. I'll have it up for you. Assume this is what you want, right? The ANR. Yes. I guess I was first amazed that it was actually one, pretty much one lot to begin with, <laughs> with all those businesses on it. Yeah, it's a it's a rather large parcel. And just a point of clarification: um, on our application, there's there's actually four owners, and 2527 LLC didn't make. Okay. Agenda. We, I don't think it's a critical. No, but I'm glad you just read it so that we have it for the minutes too. Okay, not a problem. Did we have any, does the board have any questions or? It's a pretty straightforward yeah. and Matt Lowry, the design engineer, has supposedly zoomed in if there's any technical questions, but again, it's a pretty straightforward a and plan. If you remember, this is part of a site plan review maybe a year and a half ago where we had to inform the board that we're going to start developing some pad sites and try yes. to get some more businesses in. So this is kind of an ongoing um, project and the, uh, the owners are interested in, again, developing these pad sites to bring some businesses in. And they're still working on their phased Upgrades. Yeah, I'm ex actually I'm not exactly sure where they're at with that, but I know they're they're pretty well down the, yeah, it the road. Yeah, good. I thought. I don't know when the opening is. I can maybe report back on that at some point, but they're they're moving along pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Does the board have any questions? Uh, and the only thing that came to mind is, and, and obviously it doesn't particularly matter, but if any of the individual parcels are separately transferred. They obviously still need to comply with the site plan, even if they're under separate ownership. So be careful if they transfer something we, out of there. We've had that discussion. Um, I think it's going to depend on whether or not they decide to go with some kind of a condominium type approach, or if they decide oh. to convey them out. So with that, we're not we're not there yet. They wanted to get this out of the way first, and then we're going to decide if we're going to condominiumize it, which which may make some sense. Um, you know, mm -hmm. inform an association that we can do some some planning as far as maintaining the areas and what have you. But we're not. We're not there yet. It, the, the only point to that is as long as everyone realizes that the site plan is far more important than this A&R, that's really all it comes down to. The I, I, don't, I don't disagree with that approach. Yeah. No. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. And that it's, it's like having all of this underneath your umbrella to be able to have everything uniform and stuff is perfect, very advantageous. That's the point. That is the yeah. plan. That's where, where they're trying to go with it. Exactly. Great. Thank you. All right. No questions from the board? Okay. Mm -mm. No, I don't. You're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Paul. 
You want a phone? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. She's navigating the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm preparing for the next one. You're good at that. Yeah, because here is the too much to go into, but he, for the sake of just putting it up on the screen, here is the here's the site plan. <laughs> a lot of colors, a lot of stuff going on. We don't need to go well, over. That, it. No, that's, that's yeah, helpful. Kind of that <laughs> I, I am a hundred percent with you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And again, I mean, all the, all the board's materials for this meeting are available online. Yes, for those that are interested, we have in the document center, which you can Google, um, the planning board has a folder and everything is neatly organized by meeting and by topic. And you can find all of the documents that we have tonight and in those folders. Yeah. Thank you. Paul. Thank Thanks, you. Jeff. Good evening. The, our next item this evening is we have one minor site plan. Um, Chris Noel is proposing an expansion of a warehouse with accessory office space located at 356 C Broad Street in the Industrial District. All right. And did I say your last name correct incorrectly? Kowal. Kowal. Is the correct right. pronunciation. Kowal or Kowal. Kowal. Um, for the sake of what's up there, maybe location in building is the best thing I'm trying there's not a lot to go off of here so so it's technically the second floor the building has a like it's on the same level as the church on the other side of the building so where that hashed in area is is the space that we are currently um, renting and basically all I want to do is put in um, storage shelves and I want to get it reviewed and uh, make sure it's approved so this is what I was at, trying to get at your exist space that you're using now yes. is about 2,500 square foot space. It, 2,400. 24, yeah. right around there. R right. You're not expanding the space. Correct. You're using the current space that you have. Correct. On the second floor. Yes. Not the third floor. Correct. Second floor, same space. Same space. You're just retrofitting the space you're already releasing. I'm just putting in shelves. And what are you do? What is you, what are you using it for at this time? Uh, right now it's just storage for minor things, but we're ramping up. And so we're going to have to build uh, shelving yep. to store more items. So you're already using it as storage. Yes. You're not using it as office space. There are offices in there already partitioned, but I'm not changing that footprint. It's already the spaces as it is with the offices there. Uh, we will probably put in a desk in an office to support the operations. But you're not presently using it as an office. That is correct. You're just there. Okay. Right. But I'd like the, uh, we're going to get the, permission to use it as office space yep. as needed as our, our operations okay. increase. Can, can I say I appreciate your patience and Doing I really this. wish that you didn't have to get dragged to this meeting for this. But <laughs> yeah. I want to make yes. this as painless as possible. I'm ready to vote on it if you guys are. If anybody have any questions, I, we acknowledge that the square footage, three parking spaces are necessary. It's an industrial building and there is a, a lot of parking available at this location. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does any member have any questions regarding this? Looks good. Okay. It's not a public hearing, so you want you go good with I just make a motion now. Uh, make right. a motion to approve the minor site plan for Chris Kowal, correct? Correct. Um, three fifty six for accessory office space at three fifty six C Broad Street in the industrial district. Well, right. Second. With a second, and we'll take roll call vote. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. Thank you, Chris. Thank You're you. All set. <laughs> we are into the public hearing segment this evening. And is Alex, just check in. Did Alex check in? No. No. Not that I see. Because we want to wait. We want to have him present for um, our continued item. So why don't we so do I'll let you money know. on? So first, um, I just want to let people know on, we can do special permit and site plan. Um, the applicant for Clearwater Real Estate Group is proposing to build a three-family residential development in NBD at 845 Water Street. It's continued from our February 27th meeting, and they requested a continuance. 
to a next month's meeting. So Didn't we just need that. to make a motion to continue. Move to continue. Motion's been made to continue. Is there second. a second? And a second. And we'll take roll call vote on that. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say oppose. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. Moving right along. It was on there. We continue. Give it a second. I didn't. I didn't even notice it. Eight forty-five. March. <laughs> continued. All right. I know people are here for. Yes, Tegra properties, but we're going to wait for our other board member to make sure because we also have a board member has to recuse himself, so make sure there's enough. Uh, we have board members present for that. Is anyone here for 239 Mount Elm Road? Can we just continue that and be done with it? Uh, sure. And we can take that out of order to do that one. Let's see. On our agenda, we have, it's supposed to be a combined uh, public hearing for the Scenic Road Act with the tree warden, who's I'm not going to be able to make it here this evening. But we do have in our agenda, so we can open the hearing. So we'll open it and continue it. Is the planning board will consider a tree cutting proposal for a large tree to be limbed as it poses a danger, as it's been indicated, to the right of way in the location of 239 Mount Elam Road, which is across from Cogshill Park entrance. It has to do with like a limbing of a tr an existing tree. I just, just as a point of order, just Chantel, if you can make a note when it's on our agenda next time, that it should say joint hearing with Wait. the tree warden on our agenda. Sure. Uh, because they're, technically our agenda is their agenda for this because that's the only thing right. they show up for. Mm -hmm. um, it, but aside from that, I'll make a motion to continue because our tree warden can't make it tonight. And hopefully next month we can, plenty of notice, we can arrange that. Yep, Mount Elam Street, Scenic Road. All right, there's a motion to continue. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? Second. And a second. All those in favor roll say call. aye. I'll, and I'll do roll call. All those opposed say oppose. And roll call. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. There are also, let's see, two other items on our agenda this evening, and they are in front of the ZBA at this, going to be in front of the ZBA. Um, one of them is, let's see, we have Amico LLC proposing to build an accessory building of 3,000 square feet in size, an expansion of existing storage space currently utilized by Amico Flooring. The site is located at 5963 Whalen Street in the NBD Neighborhood Business District on the provisions of the zoning ordinance. I'm not sure if there's anybody here this evening for that. If you want to to the podium. Hi, Greg. Good evening. Greg, you want me to pull up the site plan? Sure. Greg Roy, Dillison Roy, for the record. Good to see you all. Um, it was my understanding that before I get too far into this that the board may want to punt this uh, to after we, we hear the uh, yes. with the zoning board in a couple weeks. So um, I'm, I'm here tonight uh, in the event that you wanted to have discussion, but I was under the, under the impression that you wanted to just open and close without, and continue without testing. Yeah, we'll, we'll open it and just continue it. That's and you, at any time, it's yeah. like, depending on what happens later Understood. on, you can yeah. withdraw, you know, which, whatever you need to do for your, for the actions. Paula, just a, Yep. Qu question do you want to see if there's any public con if people made their way out here yep. for this if anyone we'll be wants able to, to say do that. okay and we we can take that and just as a uh, right uh, we did observe though um if you do come before us for the site plan aspect we're going to need building elevations and landscaping I, plan yes, and all I, that but i know yes. you, you got to do I, yeah, step we'll one first yeah. understood with with that and is and if there is anybody here in and virtually Without speaking for the ZBA, they probably want to see an elevation and stuff too. So. Yes. <laughs> In regards to that. All right. Nobody online? Uh, there's no, no, it's just board members online. Okay. Just the one. 
and us. Yep, and it's um, they're seeking a variance from the ZBA. Correct. Due to the um, change in the use. The, yeah, the accessory uh, nature of the proposal. Okay. Yep. I'll make a motion to continue. A motion's been made to continue. Is there a second? Second. second. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. Thanks, Greg. I'm here for River Street, too. Okay. I don't know if that's up next well, or not. Well, perfect, because it's, we're kind of in a similar boat right, situation let's, let with that. switch gears here while Paula's doing this. So we have special permit and site plan review. This is another hearing. Our applicant, um, Christian, I will say. Hoded Warmy, I think. Hoded Warmy. I always butcher it myself. I'm so. like taking it slow. <laughs> Proposes the use of self-storage in existing industrial building located at 320 River Street in the Adaptive Industrial District under the provision of the, of the zoning ordinance with that. And I know you're seeking is the special permit from the ZBA. Correct, two special permits from the Zoning Board of Appeals as well as well, special permit from your board and site plan. Yes, and just a matter of course, it is a by right use there, so you don't really need the special permit part. Okay. In the AI. We were, I read the same thing, we're just sort of following the uh, nope. the form We understand, intent. so, but you know, if, if it Understood. comes before us, there's also the, the potential that the, um, the ZBA may be able to take up the parking aspect, so. Okay. If they yeah. deal with it all in one fell swoop, Okay, it so I thought you may not. say that. So I'm assuming you want to do the same thing here and wait until after the yes. board. Yes, well, so correct. I mean, yeah. trying to approve like um, a site plan on. Understood. It, the way the filings <laughs> happened and the way the uh, the timing with, with our applicant, we, we had planning board filing deadline first and then zoning after, so it's yes. the way it happened. Yes, we want to minimize the ping pong as much Understood. as possible. For, for, for everyone's benefit. For everyone's no, I exactly. understand. I was here just to make sure. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't any questions. No. So, so I did see, just, just very quickly, just because I'm curious, and I'm sure this will come up more at length probably with the ZBA, but I'm curious. Um, I saw somewhere a comment about um, the building being unused or abandoned. Mm. And... I remember dealing with the prior owners. It feels recently it could have been forever ago. I don't know, but I feel like how hasn't it been used up to recently? So uh, truthfully, I'm not exactly sure. I know our uh, my client has been uh, negotiating the purchase of the property for several months now. Um, I know that um, the determination again from the building building commissioner was I think where you saw that note that um, the determination that that he made was that it was an abandoned use the the, the storage use that so we're, we're proposing the same use as has been uh, as has been historically used uh, but the determination was made that it was abandoned so um, and quite frankly my client hasn't objected to that so I believe it has been uh, you know it has it has not been used for at least a period of time okay. um, I would have to look into exactly the date of last Mm -hmm. um, that it was last used. I don't have that off the top of my head tonight. Mm -hmm. but. It's but you're fine. right. It's probably more of a, I, I, a little bit of a, a, a preview to the two weeks from now when I'm before the zoning board yeah, of appeals. So I appreciate I just, that. It, it, it's yeah. like Paula said. I thought it was an allowable use, but it seems like it's even easier if it was actually abandoned. Was still, you know, yeah. being maintaining that star storage use, which yep. I know they have been in front of us quite a few times over the years about many years ago about doing marijuana facility there and other stuff and yep and so any, anyway yep. is there and i'm mean, out of curiosity as well um i saw the on the form of intent it said a special permit from the city council and i'm confused as to i'm just wanted yeah. clarification of what that was for i don't i have it you here. know you know, i don't know if you want me to read that section um i am not sure either okay because uh, I didn't see anything that we were proposing that would have required relief from. I didn't see anything in the table. No. Um, yeah, it was just a, okay. uh, there, there was two paragraphs and the, this, there was actually two form of intents issued, the one by the pre, by Mr. Barbadoro before he left and that uh -huh. was issued back in the September, uh, September 20th and then there was a follow-up one okay. uh, issued in December. So I'm reading from the December one and there's two paragraphs relative to the special permits and the lapsed use and, the, and that kind of thing, site plan approval. And then there's sort of just some catch-all like, 
uh, you will need to apply for the following permits and licenses, and they list a whole bunch of them. And one of them said special permit from city council. I could not determine what Why? portion of the code we would need to, you know, um, come before the city council on. So, I guess um, I suggest you reach back out to and ask yeah. for clarification what that would be for. Yep. It used to be, I think, there's very limited in our table of uses about what a special permit from the city council would right. require. I think we even took back uh, or changed over like amusement facilities and things. It was a carry old carryover. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it looked to me that, that it was, the use didn't require it, so yeah. I'm just not sure. Just want to make sure something I need to be aware of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. We'll reach out. Okay. I'll make a motion to continue All right. to our uh, April meeting. A motion has been made. Second that motion. Okay. With a second to continue. And we'll take, oh, wait, wait. Before we do that, <laughs> and I should have asked if there's anyone in the audience who'd like to speak before we continue it. My name is Dorothy Rulo. Dorothy, Rullo. Dorothy. I have been part of Star Storage. Can you just pull can, the can microphone pull the mic down a little bit? Yep. Perfect. Dorothy Rulo. Awesome. I have been part of Star Storage since it began in the early 80s. It's never been abandoned. I'm still working there now. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why this has been declared. Can you explain this to me? I, I don't know that it's all that important. My question was more of a technicality. It, I, I, I don't know how important it is to what we're doing. It might be to the ZBA, but it's not to us. Yeah. So you, you're welcome to. If, if I may comment. the. Um, we filed a, a form of intent was in, was filed with the with the building commissioner, which is a, a process where they review the the, um, the proposal um, relative to the ordinance and the requirements in the city, and they issue us a determine a zoning determination. So it was the building commissioner that, that said, um, "I have reviewed the form of intent uh, to purchase and renovate." Um, the property is located in the adaptive industrial zoning district based on the blah, blah, blah. Um, reviving an abandoned pre-existing non-conforming structure per section 180 of the, of the Fitchburg zoning ordinance proposal is to reopen the pre-existing self storage facility. So I'm not exactly sure. My office did not file the application for form of intent. Um, so, but it was, it was, that language came directly from the city building department. So sounds like we have some corrections to make on that front. Yeah, you might want to look at yeah. the um, submission of the form of yeah. intent to see what was Yeah, was could easily be a miscommunication. Are you speaking about um, Commissioner Zemmel? No. Is that who you're talking about? Uh, the new commissioner is the one, yes. Yeah. The acting, the new acting yeah. I had a lengthy discussion with him and also a woman on the economic development and we had a very uh, interesting conversation and, and he accepted that okay. upon uh, the use of that building that it's always been storage. Good, okay. so I think that makes our life a little bit easier, especially relative to the zoning board. So. Yeah, thank you. Uh, especially for the I think driving. I need to get him, if he's willing to modify his, uh, his finding, so. Well, Especially your testimony being a, you know, a current yeah, occupant of the Yeah, appreciate that. That, right. that, that. that kind of goes to the, the core of whether it's being used or not. So well, thank you for the comments. I just wanted to come and tell the truth about okay. that. Thank you oh, very Thank much. you. I appreciate that very much. All right. Being said, is there anybody else virtually? Or we have. Good Christine. evening. Christine Tree, Chair ZBA. Um, I just wanted to comment, um, this is not before our board yet, but is coming. Um, consideration, uh, and always if the relief that is required of us could be limited, it is best. Um, consideration of whether or not there's any reason not to elect treatment as the industrial district should be undertaken. Um, and if there's any evidence to present as of lack of abandonment, um, uh, the applicant should look at what relief is requested before the board, um, but the board does welcome the hearing on this. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything helpful for the applicant? Yep. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It might even be beneficial of you to get, you know, signed testimony from the current owner saying it's yeah. <laughs> it's still in use. That might help you. No, that's good. All right. 
We, did we vote no. on it? No, I no, think no, it was second. I was just making sure okay. that we would, yep. there was no other comment. That's fine. Just seeing where we were. Yep. The vote been made to continue. And there was a second. Mm -hmm. Had, was there a second? Yeah. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, Peter seconded. Peter seconded. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Lynn? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. Do we have Alex? No. Nope. Thank you very much. No, Alex, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. And I, for for the record, because we are moving at light speed, although it's for 579 <laughs> South will take some time. Well, I'm only saying this because Jeremy Roach had asked me if I could give him a ballpark for when it would be because they had a they had a meeting Maybe tonight, date? and we're a little early from the ballpark that I gave him. So, so anyway, and I'm still waiting. And I I'm, I know people are here for 579 South Street. But I want to really wait till we have our other board member present. So I'm going to take. Think we're going to have a quorum tonight, I think so. I, I mean, we'll still have. Let's see. You we'll still have a quorum. We'll There's still five, have a quorum, though. but we'll have five instead of six. Which you, which you would need all five votes in the affirmative to, to pass. <laughs> well, that's why we always try and make sure that even though this isn't about five senators and South, I'm not speaking on behalf of that. Just as the board in general, we always try to make sure that as many people as possible can vote because it's in everyone's best interest. Mm -hmm. And I know we're moving. I mean, our agendas because we have to continue so many items. So we're going to go into some other bi other um, business items, and then when hopefully in a little while, we'll check back see if our other board member shows. Yeah, you're running out of things. You have two quick I'm things. Just and that's it. Out of <laughs> we're going to spend time on like yeah. minutes. Oh, that's that's right. We do have minutes. <laughs> so underneath our other business this evening, we do have um, a Shea Street Solar Extension request. That was a mutual agreement for an extension of time to actually hold the hearing. So there was an application submitted back in August, I think it was. Was it August, September? Uh, yeah, it went till uh, this meeting. Yep, yep. And then there was an extension signed until this date, and their applicant is requesting, um, and we're looking forward to doing this till September of 24th, 2024. So about six months. Mm -hmm. Correct that time so up in that endeavor the, there's a request to extend a re for extension of time to hold the hearing till September 24th 2024 we'll take I'll make a motion make a motion continue the, the date no, on the no, well not to continue well yeah to continue the extension to approve it yep all right, right. yep all right we'll take roll call vote we've got uh, all Second, the, if you need it. and yep. that's right we have a second from Amanda. Motion's been made with a second to extend. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. Um, Chantel, I know I've said this before, but just just so you can make a note, and I'll hopefully remember by the time they're actually on our agenda. But uh, it's been so long; we should send out notices again for what? Shea Street. No, not until the hearing. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying when we get to that point, it's been we sent out notices in July of 23. Right, correct. It's been so long. We'll send out notices again so that everyone's aware when, it, when it's on our. So agenda. it's it's not a, a hidden subject. There's um absolutely. There's a lot of. Uh, it looks like they might be. Um, they're moving forward. Um, they're sending. Uh, Jamie notified me today and said they're moving forward with peer review. With the so. peer review, so yep. they're looking at at least getting a document peer reviewed. Um, understand too, there's been um, a zoning petition put in place for ground-mounted solar, which pretty much, I'll uh, say, freezes the process until that's been vetted. At this yep. point in time. Correct. Thus, the extension. Mm -hmm. And and because I know the Wood Three Council's here too, just. The, the peer review has not started yet. It's just hopefully tomorrow the check comes and then at some point it starts and good, I have no idea how long that's gonna take. 
-hmm. And then after that, we'll figure out where we're at and go from there. The next item we have is greeting the Gateway Cities grant. Oh, wait a minute, is Jeremy available? No. Is no. he gonna? I think I said after seven. Oh, okay. Well. I either said seven or 7.30 to be honest with you, because quite honestly, I didn't expect us, I didn't expect us to go through eight things in 40 minutes, so. I believe we went on to two pages. And yeah, but 5.79 itself will, like I said, that'll take a, a little while. And, and quite honestly, just so you know, when we get to 5.79 itself, I will probably leave because all we have is green gateways and I'll jump in virtually after 579 South is done. Okay. Because there's no sense of me sticking around here just for that, so. Because there's nothing else. that would be just If you want to do that's minutes, just quick, a recommendation. Anyway, for that. We have communications and so maybe Chantel could talk about that. There seems to be notification for public comment on Twin Cities Rail Trail on a waterways application. It's, it's really just for your your information and if you wanted to comment, it was uh, addressed to the planning board, so. Okay. That's also um, for anybody um, virtual as well in our in the packet, as an FYI. And for what it's worth, I ran into Councillor uh, Schultz before this meeting and he mentioned to me that in his Ward 1 meeting coming up in April 6th. April 6th, not only will uh, Amanda be there, but uh, he mentioned to me that they're gonna be discussing the um, rail trail connector with um, Commissioner Erickson and they'll be having an input section on that and I told him that oh. I might try and show up if that's on the agenda. So just wanted everyone to know that they might have a conversation about that. So might be helpful to hear. April 8th. Perfect. April 8th. Thank you. And we do have communications. If um, Chantel was at a meeting, it was last Thursday regarding Game On for an update. And again, it's just communications about the meeting that was held. Um, so um, I, the owners um, came to a meeting with some other department heads. Um, um, the traffic, um, sar the police sergeant was there to talk about the traffic. Um, and then we had um, Herlin, uh, the conservation agent. Um, I think um, what's been happening is a lot of abutters uh, have been very concerned because there's a lot of activity going on at Game On, um, and a lot of folks um, say they're having runoff issues. Um, it turns out that um, a parcel adjacent to Game On um, did clear cutting, and that seems to be the culprit for the extra water. Um, but Game On is doing work on the bottom field. I think, do believe it's field nine. Um, they've been um, leveling out that area, and they're saying that they'd like to use it for parking. Um, I know that's not part of the original plan, talking to Paula. Um, a couple of other comments that came up um, is their use of temporary lighting for certain events, um, which tends to be quite bright, um, and abutters aren't um, overly happy about those lights shining into their windows. Um, we did ask about um, the sound barriers, um, and um, in, again, um, they said they installed them, but um, it doesn't seem like they were all installed, so that's another, another thing. Um, so at this point, I, I was gonna put um, a list of things together. Um, as far as some outstanding things that we may want to discuss with Game On. Oh yeah, and the last thing was the bond was discussed. Um, I think in the original conditions, there were supposed to be money set aside for a sidewalk, which was supposed to be um, $100,000. And, and they took out a bond, they said, for 80,000 for that sidewalk. 
Now, that wasn't the, con the condition in the original decision. So I do think perhaps a meeting, um, another meeting with Game On might be a good idea. So um, th those sorts of issues could be talked out. Um, it depends on the approach, and we may want to follow up with Liz on this about what our ne next steps are since um, some of the conditions aren't 100% at this point. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the update. You're welcome. I was trying to find the, I was trying to find the letter that I wrote. More to come on that subject. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll do it another day. I was trying to find the letter. I drafted, I was supposed to be there, and I, my son ended up being sick, so I wrote Liz a letter with photos that neighbors had sent me and some of the concerns that Paul and I had gone over um, over the years that, that we're finally catching up on. Um, and I did talk to Peter. Peter San Germano, uh, one of the owners, called me after the meeting um, just to follow up, and I reiterated to him that, you know, that Paul and I both would like um, either the prior engineer, who I believe was Dillis and Roy, or a new engineer to look at the plans and, and make notes of any changes. Um, uh, apparently, um, Liz was telling me that um, the Game On folks and Liz, when they were looking at some of the aerials that I shared in that image, they thought that most of it was looks like it was designed to the site plan, um, but I had shown her in that packet I just sent you, Paula, or showed you, Paula, that there's, there are some areas that were pretty significantly different, particularly the parking lot behind the main building. It, it, if you look at the aerial, it looks significantly different from what's on the site plan. So I told Peter, I said, just have someone re, re, do an as-built plan, redraft the plan and say, okay, this is what was supposed to be, this is what actually is, so that we can then move on to what they plan on doing next, because I was told, though I don't know for certain, that they have plans for other things down the line. Um, so uh, t t I'd like to kind of hash out what's there now before we get into what's going to be there in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll cross all those bridges when we get there. So to be continued. To be continued. We do have you know, our minutes this evening. I'm stretching it. <laughs> um, I don't think I have Alex's number. I was going to say maybe I, I can know. Do we have that? You can email him. Yeah, I can send an email. Oh, I do have his phone number. I'll send him a text to see if he's coming. He's on his way back from Boston, so oh. easy to get hung up in traffic. Yeah, anything yeah. I think I've been on the board long enough to say that this is rare. <laughs> hey, this is what happens when you've got all the materials together and streamlined. <laughs> okay. <you> so. <laughs> purple, purple. Yes. <laughs> to get all, uh, all the information that's necessary, so we know who's coming and who's not, and they put in. Okay, I sent them. Sure. No idea if that's the right phone number, but okay, we will find out. You want to bring up the minutes? Yep, that's what I'm doing right now. We've got three sets of minutes. We got them from January for our uh, CDBG uh, meeting minutes. We had two um, meetings in the month of January. We already approved our regular board meeting minutes. This is the CBG hearing minutes. <coughs> um, minutes. You want to do block grant first? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
All right, January 11th. Of course, does any a board member says he's five that? minutes from his house. Oh, okay, great. Does any board member have any comments on the CDBG meeting minutes? Nope. I read through mine. I didn't have any comments on it. So yeah. make a motion to approve. Second. Motion's been made with a second to approve the minutes for January 11th, 2024. As submitted, roll call vote. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Uh, Lynn? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. All right, our next set we've got, here you go, February 27th, 2024, just last month. I did go through them. Um, I think Paul took a gander at it as well. Mm -hmm. We took, we, yeah. Oh, I so noticing yeah, just right spelling side. at the very top. I, I caught it later on. I didn't what catch it, it there. Principal planner is P-I-R. Oh. And C I P L. <laughs> we will fix that. So -A -L. minor uh, correction. I caught it at the end. It was, it was at the bottom of one of these, but. Can I also um, just a minor that I don't have an E in my name. It's just T R E C Y. Okay. Thank you. It doesn't bother that's me. That's not minor. Oh, that's not minor. minor. <laughs> that's your that's your name. I mean, that's it's not a big deal. <laughs> I get you. No, I that's important. That up. Wait a minute. Let me think. Okay. I already went through I think most of the other ones. I am fine with the rest of it. Make a motion to approve as amended. Second. Motion's been made with a second to approve as amended. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. And roll call vote. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. And I didn't catch that either. Make that amended. Same thing. And same Princi thing. Principal. <laughs> so same thing. And same name. <laughs> <laughs> and Tracy. Yep. Tracy's name. Corrections there too. Is there anything a, a board member would like to go through while we're here on it regarding that time period? I already covered it. Make a motion to approve as amended. Well, to approve oh, as amended. We as do amended. have those yep, two changes. Same thing. For this one too. Yep. Second that. A motion's been made with a second to approve as amended. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Roll call vote. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. I do think someday the rest of the board should see your red lines, Paula, because my eyes go cross-eyed when I get the red line changes. It's very hard to keep up with those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She is good. Mm -hmm. She is good. Well, Mel the, they're, but Melissa's doing a great job putting them together, too. Mm -hmm. I'll let her know. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and it's like the most re recent one. They're easier when they're most recent. It's more, ch it's challenging to have to go back. Mm -hmm. so that's absolutely. where we spend a lot of time. Does that bring them all caught up now? No. Mm -hmm. No. We're getting there, though. Yeah, no, I <laughs> seems like we've had a lot. That's why I asked. There's I three know. now. We did three last meeting. Right. We're going to try to keep multiplying them. Hopefully, we'll have, like, the most current meeting <coughs> plus whatever, a couple more. It's nice yeah, I think they're all recorded now. I think it's November, November, December, maybe March and April. September. Oh. And no, I think March is done. Maybe April, May. April. When we were in the fire station. Mm. That's it. Like there's no recording, so. Mm. But we've got all recordings for those. The new, yeah, the newer ones, yeah. 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 Well, that. I cringe every time I go back and watch. And we have. <laughs> did and I say that? I did say that. There's also a transcript, so everything we say. No, I mean, I didn't watch. I try not to watch. 
Every, ut every utterance is being captured. And you should see how they spell our names on the transcript or how it in oh, I can't interprets imagine. it. So. <laughs> like the A's. So we just do only do have that one um, last agenda item in front of us this evening. And out of curiosity, we're going to be there in a few minutes. Out of curiosity, Chantel, so it says the Greening the Gateway is City's grant. You have, obviously, I talked to Jeremy about e about the FPS thing on Academy, but what does National River Watershed have to do with that? Are you here tonight? Yes, you are. Well, we haven't, I, Paul hasn't called it yet because we're waiting for the other people, but is that? They have in, a grant also going Oh, the two for, different ones? Yes. Oh, well, we, yeah. oh. we can have you mm -hmm. speak about that. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I just assumed it was under the same grant, okay. Yeah, so it's the uh, san same grant program, but actually we're a uh, second applicant for the grant as well. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm with the uh, Natural River Watershed Association, Great. and uh, I'm here today to just talk about our uh, plan. Just get closer oh, to yes. the mic. Sorry. Uh, my name is Ryan Henricus. I'm the uh, Senior Land and Climate uh, Programs Associate with the uh, Natural River Watershed Association, and uh, I'm here uh, to get uh, approval for a proposed uh, tree planting that we are hoping to do off John Fitch Highway. Um, do you guys have the, the plan, or do you need... Me to go through it. Is it uh, Chantel? Is it? I think I uploaded it to the folder. It's. Right, um, let me get to it. Hold on. Under other business. Yep. Just bear with me for one second. So we have the, um, there's a document, uh, NRWA GGC tree planting? Yes, that's, that's the one you want? Yep. Okay. Uh, the document's mostly text, but then there's a, a map further down. Okay, do you want the map? Sure, yeah. That might be most instructive. Okay. Oh, that, this, one, that one's fine. Is this the United Way property? It is, actually, yes. Okay. Yep, there's uh, the United Way and um, the uh, Community Foundation share a building there at 649 John Fitch Highway. And the National River Watershed Association was hoping to apply for a grant uh, through the Green and the Gateway Cities program to plant some trees on that property as basically part of a uh, proof of concept so that we can do more ambitious pro uh, projects down the line. Uh, this one would involve planting 30 trees, uh, 20 red maples, and then a smattering of other trees, including ginkgos and things of that nature, um, elms. And that's mostly to the rear of the property? It is, yeah. Most of the um, uh, area in the front there uh, doesn't really have enough clearance to plant the sort of large shade trees that the DCR is hoping to plant. And uh, we had asked them about maybe moving back the parking lots a little bit, but I, I guess they can't square the, uh, you know, spare that parking there. So there's an area off to the side in which we'll be removing about 900 feet of asphalt and then, uh, you know, treating the soil there so that it's... Uh, capable of supporting larger trees and then uh, planting about three or four there as well. The only, the only question I have looking at this is if you're removing parking, we just need to make sure that there's adequate parking according to the table of uses for that property. Okay. Table. Um, so there's a site plan for that. We did one somewhat recently when they did an extension. Remember they put an addition. call that recent. Five years, I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing, I don't know. So they, they did an extension, a, an addition okay. on the building. We did a site plan. You should find that site plan okay. and just make sure that, I mean, if it's, if it's, a, if it's inconsequential and there, you know, there's 30 extra spaces, then it might not be an issue. Worst case scenario, just the site plan gets modified and comes back just so that we can stamp and sign off saying yes, no problem. Absolutely. Because you are, looks like you're removing parking. And yes. anytime you remove parking, so we need to make sure. Business or professional office, if that's the category, is one parking space per 400 square feet of gross floor area. Okay. okay. I can tell you the gross floor area ballpark. So Give me a second. What at, what's the address? It is 649 John Fitch Highway. 649 John Fitch Highway. Let's see where the rough building size, and we can do a ballpark, not that it, not that we're the uh, 
ones that decide this, but. Yep, and so. I think it should be roughly uh, two to three spaces. I, I believe three, yeah. but. 9,000 square feet. Um, 20, 22 and a half space, 23 spaces, yep. And it looks like there's a lot there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. It looks like yeah, it looks like there's in excess of thirty even without that. But just double check that. Just make sure that we'll that because you obviously you don't want to tear up the pavement and then it violate a permit condition and or, or violate the site plan. Of course, yeah. Um, but aside from that, that's. So from us this evening, you're looking for a recommendation? Uh, yes, I believe so. We need to uh, get in this grant application by the 4th, and so we, um, we wanted uh, minutes that we brought in front of the board, and then I guess a recommendation, or um, I, I, <laughs> it's my first board meeting. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah I have, proposal. I mean, no, the, only, the only other comment I have is, is if those trees are at all in proximity to the sidewalk, to the city sidewalk, yep. that you make sure you approve them with the DPWs so the roots aren't gonna undermine our sidewalks. Okay, DPW, all right. But aside okay. from that, I, I have no problem with it. Does any board member have any question? No, comment, all right. I make a motion to give an affirmative recommendation in concept to the planting of trees according to the plan, yep. um, just based on the comments that I already gave. For the grant proposal, yep. Yep, yep. And we'll take roll call vote. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say oppose. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Paul? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. And I'll ask Alex? No, not yet. No Alex yet, all right. And Jeremy's here if you want and to. We can do that. All righty, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much, Ryan. Good evening. We were have, uh, way ahead of schedule. I guess so. I, I'm glad our meeting ended. <laughs> we actually were ready for you about 20 minutes ago. We were killing time. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, you're ahead of schedule. We're waiting for a board member for another hearing. So. Just a quick uh, overview of what we're trying to do. Um, Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Jeremy Roach, Assistant Superintendent of Schools uh, for Finance and Operation for Fitchburg Public Schools. So we are we're looking to pursue the Greening the Gateway Cities Grant uh, for 130 Academy Street, which is um, on the same street as Longshow Middle School, formerly Fitchburg High School. It's the end lot. Uh, so in your packet, you have just a couple of highlights of the grant. I think. You probably are familiar with it, but I cut and paste a couple of those for you. And then a little bit of an overview on page two of, you know, some of the designs and or um, I should say some of the ideas that we have for, for uh, thank you, for Academy Street, <clears throat> in addition to the design that we worked on together with a uh, partner at Urban Forester for DCR. So, and then the last page shows some examples of the types of trees that are approved for this type of grant, because it's not every, every kind of tree um, that could be actually planted, especially in a residential area like that. So it was good to have someone from DCR working with us. So I think for us, um, you know, Longjo Middle School is really landlocked in the sense of it does not have green space or field space for the students. The students in Massachusetts Public Schools now in grade eight are required to do civic uh, projects. They typically group projects. And last year in May, uh, in, across the schools at the Memorial Middle School Library, the kids in the eighth grade presented all of their civics projects. And Long Joe's themes typically were centered on improving the building, but also finding green space as the one school that didn't have um, any kind of land. So we started conversations with the assessor's office and various departments in the city. They pointed out that 130 uh, Academy Street was an abandoned lot that the city had owned. Um, and the property committee signed it over to us in October. So it now is Fitchburg Public, it's under the, 
the auspices of the Fitchburg Public Schools, and we have been updating it. We had a landscaping company come out and just clean it up for us a couple months back. <clears throat> we are working with them also on pricing for the trees. So we pursued, we're pursuing the greening, the Gateway Cities grant we would like to, because we think it would really provide an opportunity for us to transform that particular lot, which is on the corner of Academy and Spring. I think you can see it there. Um, you know, we'd like to do some other things on Academy Street as well. We've been talking to um, folks in the neighborhood. We are working with some uh, the city solicitor on 120, which is for sale. But specifically for this, it's 130 Academy Street. And, and again, I think you have an outline there, or a map rather, of, of what that could potentially look like mm -hmm. in terms of turning that into a nice area for the, for the students in the school, but really for that neighborhood as well. So glad to take any questions. And, and again, appreciate the time. And sorry I was late. I think it's not at all. I think it's great. I, I put up the GIS if anyone's curious. So Longshore obviously is the big building on the left. Yeah. And this is the lot on the corner. Right. Um, it's, a, it's a school that desperately needs green space as those students aren't able to go outside at all. No. And uh, I think it's a great start. So I'm all for it. Yes. Appreciate and that. I just have the one comment we were just talking about on, on the proposal. Any shrubberies, things that are at the corner, that in the in the zoning ordinance, there's corner clearance requirement. Okay. To making sure that you the setback is enough for that, so when you the car is at the end of the street, they can see. So Understood. We talked about corner clearance, so it depends on the the height and the the type. Yeah, that makes that makes per perfect that. sense. So just keep keeping that in mind, and that's one eighty one. Dot forty one twenty four. Yeah, like it talks about like twenty feet distance from the point of the intersection and like a triangle. Like you know, the, the, this one on the corner right. could could be problematic. Yeah. Just I, I would suggest when you're like when you're ready to off. when you're ready to, to to set them or you have locations, make sure you just converse with um, Sergeant Boudreaux, police, yeah, and perfect. DPW, yep. just to make sure. Same thing I said at the last hearing too. Make sure anything near the street isn't going to have root systems that's going to you know ro erode or wear away at the, yep. the sidewalk and street. But aside from that, you know, once if you get the okay from DPW, it's fine. With yeah, so it's like Excellent. it becomes a triangle area. So it's just making sure you get site. No, oh, thank you. That's great feedback. Yep. That's uh, we don't know this stuff, so it's it's good. Yeah. To <laughs> we see that all the collaborate. time. Collaborate. Yep. yep. Jeremy, is uh, just a quick question: Is one is one twenty Academy Street something the city is working on? Well, so it's curr it's currently yeah it's currently a property. So 130 is a it was an abandoned lot. Right. Right. Um, 120 is for sale. So we are working with the city solicitor around the possibility of purchasing that. Mm -hmm. um, we would love to because you know that would then um, provide I think a greater opportunity for the school system to then look at the rest of the Academy Street. Um, you know, I, it's probably about a half acre from the corner uh, parking lot at, on that side right, of, right. of Longshow down to um, to the end of the street. There, there is a narrow sliver of a property in between that a, that, a, that a resident on Pleasant Street owns. But 120 is, like I said, current, and that's I think 126 uh, specifically. But 120 is is for sale, and we and we are. We're hopeful. We're working on it. Uh, those are complex purchases. That'd be yeah. great. Yeah, uh, that's what we. That's how we feel. Yep, I agree. Uh, Paula, just so you know, seven oh five ish. Alex uh, joined our so. Fantastic. Great. And so, for from us this evening, you're looking for a recommendation from the board to move forward with the grant application. Just approval to pursue the grant. Oh. Yep. I'll make a motion, uh, same thing we just did, uh, uh, an affirmative positive, positive recommendation for the purposes of applying for the grant um, to the concept plans that were provided, subject to the board comments that, that we had mentioned. All right. And, th and there's a second, and we'll take roll call vote. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say oppose. Alex? Aye. Ah. Ellen? I get to be second. Aye. Uh -huh. Amanda? Aye. Peter. Aye. Paul. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Paula. Aye.
Thanks, Chairman. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good luck. Keep you posted yeah. on the next steps. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Have a great night. You too. Oh, wait a minute. So we need to, can you get control over to oh. Yep. Um, let me just go talk to Dan. Dan. Who wants it? Tracy or Amanda? Um. Tracy. Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> here for another two hours if you give it to me. <laughs> All right, I gotta remember how to do it, right? So. He's gonna set Tracy up. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. We're going back to our public hearing segment for which we have one item. And we have uh, Paul Fontaine recusing himself so he's leaving the meeting. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Got everything done before I left. That's what? Awesome. what Paul's leaving at 712. Yep. 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 I think I have it right here, but I just want to make sure. 2016, 11. Oh. I mean, she so if you could, yeah, if you just just click on yep, oh, and, the, and then just what, pick okay. your screen. Right, that's right. And then sure. yeah, and then what I usually do is when, once I get where I want to be, I just pause it. If you're doing stuff in the background, okay. That yeah, way, I, I don't. Everyone's not looking. Everyone's not looking gotcha. at emails and stuff. Okay. All right. So. Thank you. Want to depart? Thank you. Great. All right, gentlemen, please feel free to come up to the, and sit in front of the mics. <laughs> What's that? Yes, yeah, we do. Yes, so that's brought up, so as this is a uh, modification of a special permit, it's still super majority, which is um, five, minimum of five out of the seven um, board member votes in order to, for it to be approved. What would you like me to put up? Um, let's start with, I know that we only had the hard copy last week, which was the actual picture of the building that was in reference to, or I gave, gave yes. us guidance on the size. Yeah, let's bring up that one. Which so one? that one is, well, let's figure it out. Um, building height, see the one that says building height, AP, no, further up, APC3, right there. I think, yeah. This is the one that um, you brought up to us at the board at our last meeting, and our virtual members, Lynn and Alex, didn't, weren't able to see this at that time. Correct. So we want to bring that up. So because this was quite, um, it did show quite a bit different than the prior one, where it's where it still was three stories. Correct. And so this with this roof line actually like brings the height room. down. That's not the most up-to-date drawing. All right. Right, for the, I mean, for the elevation of the, I mean, but the height, it would be appropriate? Well, that's, I mean, that, that hasn't changed since, but that's not the most Right, but we didn't have it last time. Yeah. That's the one that was supposed to have been the last time, but that drawing has been updated since the last yeah the year. elevation but we're just looking at the height right now i okay. also uploaded more um documents bill sent them to me so those are i think towards the bottom and they are not um numbered no that's the the site plan uh, maybe it's that one no oh, yeah. yeah maybe one of the images no, the Im images have to do with the, like, yeah, the stone the frontage. Stone. No, for the ele but for that, for the, I think, is there another one about proposed uh, Building elevation? Height. Height. That was March 18th. It was added. What are these? Yeah. So the ones that got added later are probably the most recent ones. Those are the pictures of the stone. Right. right. So mm, the 25th, I do believe. Mm, that, no, that's the a site not the twenty. Oh, that's the picture. I think the one that we had was the one we were looking for, though. 
We're just looking at the building height. Right. Yeah, so bring that one back up again. Yes, we, we just wanted to talk about this because this is, um, Alin specifically requested that she want making sure that we see this because we saw it. Because yes. previously there was the one from November that showed it was three stories three tall stories. and it seemed right. to be um, quite imposing right. um, to be built to, for the building on the frontage. So this design seemed to be more in keeping with the colonial style as well. It, the other one was more of a maybe a mansard look, like Correct. more of a historical district Correct. than it was for this country, like colonial look too, in keeping with it. Well, Lynn, do you have any questions? No, I'm glad it was in the um, the packet this time around because everyone reflected on how it was a game changer. And, and looking <laughs> right. at it, I can see, um, you know, the, the difference and, you know, the work that went into this. And this is very nice. It's very pleasing to the eye and it, the heights look great. All right. Okay. Let's see. And what shall the, what, do you want to build work at the building elevations next or? Yeah, let, let's go with okay. the, uh, the, the uh, 3D actually. We do that. This one? I don't know what I'm looking And I'll, I'll have to describe a few. Maybe the bottom one, the this one. Down. Yeah. <laughs> L, is it LP1? No? No, that's the uh, lands part of the landscaping plan. We'll get it. Um, try. Is it, Keep what is up. ACP 1, 2, and 3? No, that's not good. Thank you. Wasn't that a lot? That's the floor plan. Okay. Well, there's a little bit, there's a landscaping plan in there too. You know the one you brought up with the gray? That yeah, landscape. it did pop up. Towards the bottom, I think. So that was Shell Street Revised? Yeah, that thank one? you. See, you should have had. Is that what we want up here? No, because it's I'm not even on. Mm -hmm. So this is the, with the building, the new kind of like look. Cor Correct. So we, I like to look at this first and then we can follow up with the actual pictures of the existing building. And the thought was um, I, wa I wanted to match the look of the back building would just make the most sense with the front building. And so on this building here, we're going to have uh, under the window wells, it's going to be uh, a uh, like a faux stone. And in the center where you see the two people walking in the main entrance, that whole front part will also be uh, the gray stone. The top peaks on the four sides, exactly that one, this one, will be a shaker, like a gray shaker, which will complement the color of the siding. Mm -hmm. And when we go to the pictures on the next one, uh, you'll see the exact material that we use in the back building, and it'll just be used in the front building. What wasn't showing on that picture, mm -hmm. which you'll see on the landscape. Did you want that? I thought you wanted Yeah, could we just show that real quick, the, uh, the previous one? And, and this was only because of just due to the time to get this back out nope. with the 3D uh, renderings. Below it, that one. <laughs> okay, so what will be reflected, you'll see on the actual landscape plan, is the where the two people are in the front. Mm -hmm. You'll see the, win the two windows, which are to the right of them. They will be mimicked uh, another l strip of landscape ground uh, cover on the front of the walkway. Yes, okay. Right, and you'll see that right, on yeah, the, all along the front. correct, yep. all the way down. So you won't have an, see an exposed um, walkway all the way to the street. It'll be, you'll have some landscaping. Okay. So we, we dressed up the front a little yeah. bit more, and you'll see that on the landscape plan when we get to that. And if you want to go to the materials. And I also notice the, uh, before we leave this slide, um, there's no more vents. Yes. Cor so correct. So you, that's you're right. moving that. So that's a big that's change right. of you moving those to some regular, like um, mini split to pads in the back. Correct. We're, we're going to be 
Correct. It'll, it'll be a mini split system. And again, on the landscape, on the uh, site plan, you'll see where we located those and we've uh, put some you know, ornamental coverage for them also in the back of the building, the back left of the building. Okay. So now you want to see? Yeah, if we could see the pictures of okay. the actual material, that would be great. So it was a very bright sunny at, at the point I took this. So, um, but this will give you a good, a good idea with the gray, white, and then the stone look will be where I described under those windows and also up the center of the uh, property with the two doors and the facing South Street. So you got that yep, center column piece, and so pretty much like the like the foundation going around, you're going to have this around the whole building, okay. exactly. Yep. So it's, I'll say that certainly makes a difference on uh, when you're looking at it from South Street. On the left, that elevation drops down towards the neighbor. So that building height starts to go up. But when you have the different building materials, I think that helps break that Breaks up. It up. Keep that presence down. Yeah. Versus it all being one color. Room right. Style. And then when you start to break that up. So I right. pleased to see that you have different material there. Yeah. 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 And, and this, I think I have a couple other various pictures of just. Yeah, you can't see it when it's the shades on it. You can't no, see I know. The, 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 I know. the material. Why. Here we go. Okay. Uh, you also, is that color, and then are you using, is it also um, the color of the siding going to be one or the other? Co like on correct. The there or, or correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to, I mean, the only difference will be on this one, we didn't break the last, say, three or four feet with stone. We did siding all the way down with the stone accent and into the doorways. Yep. The difference will be, it'll be the lower part will be accented with this stone look as to having the two different shades. So that's what will break it. Yep. So. That looked good. Peter, do you have any? Well, uh, I was just gonna ask one question. Uh, will there be a horizontal kind of a belt line molding between the first and the second floors? No. Like there is in this building? No. Yeah, I don't know. It'll just be, uh, I mean. I think it's neat to see that. I mean, look like a zebra. I mean, right, there'll be like three be lines much. going through this whole thing. <laughs> um, I think that you really need that, that, that plane of color for those two. Um, we go floors. back, yeah. can we back to that picture? I just wanted Which to. Which one? I'm just, the, the, what, the 3D rendering? The big one. Rendering. Yeah. What do you mean, Peter? Under under the first right over the top windows, right all, between the uh, first and second floors, to break up the building a little bit, like you did in the back. You said you were trying to match the building. Uh, I the was. But he, he was my thinking behind that. That because we didn't do the stone on the lower part mm -hmm. on the the back building. If we went three different breaks, it may not look as right. appealing. Well, I, I can buy that, yeah. You yeah. know, so that was my thinking behind that. Uh, that makes sense. And I think it looks more house look. With it, does. Here. it does. Because yeah. if you break it up, it's too much. It's going to be more like mm -hmm. a No, because that's obviously what I like, because that's what we did in the back yeah. building. So I, I, my thinking was that originally, but in looking at in shrinking the building, I says, I don't know if having those three layers no. is going right. to You're absolutely correct. Right, you know. I like, and you get the shutters on here too. I'll just say yes. that kind of matches the um, neighborhood on the street side. Colonial. No, it's like you've got more modern, and yeah. you know the back yeah. where you don't have that, but this fits more in the front. Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions regarding this elevation this time? All right. So. No, we'll go into because then we'll dive right, so into. So while we're still talking the about the elevation. building. Yes. There's some things that need to be discussed that were discussed at the last meeting. Mm -hmm. We said that we would carry for, forward into this meeting. On the exterior of the building, we're actually bringing in some wall sconces around. There was a question about lighting. Yes. So on our elevations, we're showing wall sconces on the front of the building, flanking each um, door that's centered. We have wall sconces also in the ceiling of the that entrance, we're going to have some down lights. So that'll be really well lit in that area. Okay. And that. then around the sidewalk leading to the parking yeah. lot, all the way around the building, there yeah. are wall sconces that will shine down 
on the, on the plantings and the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So rather than having what people used to oh, do of having the big floodlights on the side of the building that it just has glare shooting out from the building, uh, we're not doing that. We're holding it closer to the ground so we get more lighting at the ground rather than you know, a nuisance uh -huh. type of lighting. Mm -hmm. So that lighting will be like above, above the um, stone level, the foundation level? Above the stone, oh yes, yeah. It, it's shown on the, on the elevations. So rectangle, it says wall sconce. When we get to the other diagram, you'll see. Okay. It's just the time, we, the person that does the 3D rendering, it's just the timing didn't line up to get the changes, oh. so, you know. Well, especially, yeah, when you were, what, Thursday, you had a meeting? True. Yeah. <laughs> so do we have that? That should be on, yes, that'll be on here, it'll show. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see which one that Is that the? Also, no, uh, you're talking one. about no. the building. Yeah, we um, removed the PTAC units and like, I believe you had mentioned earlier going to a, another system where we have uh, condensers on the ground in the back of the building that will mm. be screened. Do you know which one might be? And then also you plan? talked about handicapped issues. Um, you mentioned large doors. Well, I can't put larger doors in there right now. I mean, they're three-foot doors. I mean, they meet, they meet or exceed the code. So what I need to do, um, follow, follow the code. The code says anything that's on the ground level needs to be a 1A type handicapped accessible uh, unit. And because we have more than 20 units on that site now, we have to provide a, a 2A unit, which is, which the units that I'm showing will meet that too. And it's then, it, it's a little bit more strict where you have room underneath, eventually room underneath like sinks in the kitchen, all of those things that are a little bit extra. And, and we have to have that, but not when you open up. I, it, we can have it there, but it can be um, transferred into that. So it's not, it's how, to, how to explain this. It's, it's a 2A, but then it can turn into a 2B, which will remove a few things to make it more accessible. So there are different levels of accessibility. So it's going to be designed so it could even be more accessible. That's correct. Okay. So, but minimally, it, you're going to be able to have like the, the, the doorway wisps are going to be adequate for, oh. for that. Absolutely. Yeah, doorways, we got clearances. got sinks and like oh. showers and things, so you got no... No showers. You don't have to have showers. Well, I meant no tub scenario. I meant you're going to have a, be able to... Well, if you, if you have two bathrooms, yep. then one has to have a shower. If you have one bathroom... You can have either a shower or a tub. So, but the, it'll have to be set up for handicap. Yeah, I want to make yeah, sure, yeah right. just making sure right. that it is so you don't have the threshold, so to speak, right? Fresh. What about thresholds? And tub. <laughs> so, <laughs> making sure that it's not you that you don't that you're <laughs> able to, you know, not cross over a, a high threshold to shower. Right. It'll meet code. Well, I understand about right, meeting, like what you just mentioned again about a tub and a shower. A tub or a shower, correct. Right. That, I can put a tub in these because there's one bathroom per unit. I understand. Okay. But that's not a tub, though, like a standard type of tub. Pardon me? A standard tub. Yes. Well, it's that's, not a, it's, that's, not, that's not a wheelchair. Like, how are you going to get a wheelchair? It doesn't have to be. I don't say that doesn't have to be. We should. What we're saying that we want to see that. Like we want it designed so that you don't have that. You're making it fully more handicapped. You want the wheelchair bound person to be to able be, to. Right. And they so just roll in. So, okay, so we want to. You want to go above what the the code is requiring then. Well, I just want to. You know, know if you, yeah. look, if you want to do the bare minimum, man, that's. Well, this I mean, is a spe it's a special shower. permit, I mean, I so the thing I don't have a problem with, yeah. and I, I, I know, right, Bill's he's following what, what's required, what the right. code is, I, I get it. Um, but if that's something that, you know, to put one or a shower unit in there just to have that extra accessibility, I mean, I, I'd be fine with that. Okay. You know, to, to that was because the thing that really sold me on, on this well, being more of a, 
a mixed thing is, is is those four units being really fully handicap accessible and not mm -hmm. just like the like the minimum yeah. like we want to see more i think something like that of you know if you have that you know if you're not having a tub just have the roll in so people can mm -hmm. have so either or any new construction in this city should be doing that you know anything that's on ground level if you if you have an elevator in your building all of the units need to meet handicap so every one of these on the first floor four of them are going to meet handicap requirements yes and above <laughs> so to speak um, i mean we're asking for more yeah. okay okay for that so that's what i meant to, about it's like i understand oh, we'll you're going to have the sink and you're just going to okay. put like the shower like like make sure that you have a shower if there's more than one okay. bathroom that's fine but at least make one of them so that it's accessible that way i think that's where we maybe in that conversation had some confusion where we were thinking we're meeting the the requirements but that's fine to go a little bit more right uh, i don't have a problem with putting in a tub and making it more and i don't think you're saying in every single one well just the four yeah yeah so i don't i mean out of the four out of the ten units that you're proposing right. here, those should have showers instead of tubs, and making sure that you don't have you can roll a wheelchair in or whatever. No one can has to cross a threshold to shower. You're asking for all four to have showers? Yes. I thought you meant just one or two, and then out of the handicap units. Yeah. Well, we hadn't come up for discussion previously because I guess I guess I had assumptions. <laughs> And what's the what's yeah, the hurdle? I I, I just I, I was just thinking that to make sure that those first floor units all were uh, fell under the ADA requirements, and that's really what I pushed on with Bailey. So make sure everything is. Um, I guess I didn't know that we were going to go an extra layer to put all four of them. No. I guess my ex my expectation, I guess when you say the ADA, is that's what I think when I say ADA. So I don't know the code of like. Here's sure. the minimum for ADA, but that my expectation is that that's that's ADA. It's, yeah, you're going to be able to. We're not going to be following in. the federal law. We're going to be following the state law. Massachusetts access. If we put, uh, I mean, I guess what, what's the. So why 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 the I guess why do, would you not want to put in just showers instead of having you've got tub units el elsewhere? Why the, everybody doesn't desire a tub? These are two-bedroom units. Sure, I, I I don't necessarily have a problem with it. I mean, uh, tubs are. I mean, a lot of people. I like a tub. A lot uh, of people like a lot of people tubs. like tubs. So the thinking is hey. that um, a, a tub would be. But to have uh, to accommodate, you know, with uh, the okay. ADA or a wheelchair. I mean, I don't have necessarily. We'll put it to the. We'll we'll ask the board if, whether okay. how many so you think t at two. To, I, I, out of the four? I think that's reasonable, yes. I, I'd be willing to put two. Are you thinking of it more from a marketing perspective or actually that this would interfere with someone's accessibility or to the? Um, no, we, we have, because remember the back building is the whole level, the lower level and the second uh, level is all handicap accessible. So we do have uh, that ability there yep. also. So there's actually a lot on that okay. site in general. So, so that's the thing of, it's going to be somewhat different of like here's something a little like here's here's our mixed use apps you know pieces that we're, we're going a little bit further on being uh, what's well. different from the, just regular the other apartments that you already have mm -hmm. scenario so it's like how okay. are you how are you accommodating that an, another another aspect or another need right sure so it's just trying to mix it up sure yeah, I, I don't think that it's a decision that I'm pushing on either way to do with marketing. I, I appreciate Bill's side of it, that he's just looking at it. Here's the code. Here's what you do, Lance. Right. That's it. I see that. Um, and at the same time, uh, would, I, would I like tubs over showers? Typically, yes. But I, I would be in the middle as far as some type of compromise to say, yes, uh, so many units could be uh, okay. tubs. That's fine. So. Yeah. And, and and well, we can come back to that too. Okay. All right. So two and two, correct? Then that's what you want, two tubs and two? Oh, we're gonna come back to it, I guess. We'll but that's what you're that. thinking about right now, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you want me to put up next? 
Um, I think we were going to show a picture of the, um, in the, the desi actual design of the building, which shows the sconces and the. I can't find that. <laughs> it was given to you. It doesn't seem to be in this folder. Do you know what the name of it? Uh, try. It should be A2.1, revision number nine. There is a 2.1, so is that further up? Where do you see that? Up, higher. Higher. Way higher. 2.1. Yeah, let's. ACP 2.1. Is that today's date on it? I don't. Well, we'll be able to tell right away if it's the right one. That's not it. Yeah. Aha. Uh, that's it, right? That yeah, is the sponsor. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So you can see, I don't know if you could blow it up at all, the, the South mm. Street view. Hold on. But you can see the sconces we have. Yeah, there we go. And you can get a more of a feel with a kind of a stone look under the windows. Mm -hmm. And then up the face. Mm -hmm. And then the top will be the shaker. And then as you come down, you'll, you'll see where the two doors are. We have the two um, sconce lights. And then they're running across the building over the walkway. And you said those doors go into the units, right? Correct. One to, on each side. Correct. And the sconces are those like um, like lantern types? Or? Yeah, they can be a decorative lantern that's going to be like a wash lighting almost. Okay. And then that's the side that goes down to the parking lot? This. Uh, is that the other side? Yeah, that's it. Yes. So the, yeah, this, yeah, this is part of the parking lot. Correct. Yeah, yeah you're pulling into it here. We look at, look at the rear. That's the the rear entrance. Yeah. Yes. You see the same thing. The sconce is running down. Two over there, and again under that, um, where the door is, where the um, small roof. Outlay is there's going to be lighting that's also in there. Is that right on the walkway? Okay. Where the stairway would be to upstairs from this? Yeah, I was just going to say, does that door go into the other? It, it goes into the other uh, first floor units and the stairway. And the stairway. That's correct. I was just, and it's like, I know in the front you mentioned unit. about like in right, the front, right? The cold, making sure that maybe the door or doors are extra wide. I was. I know you want to, it's on the back side, but are the doors large enough for, you know, furniture and things of that nature, whether or not you it's think a three of foot wide door. So you okay with that? Yeah, we, we do have those now in the back building and there's never been so far an issue with, okay. them, you know, moving or complaining. And, that's this. and then here's the side that's facing yep. the uh, abutter with the window wells and correct and what, two, ap two apartments. That correct level? correct and you see we added the landscape in there to kind of just give a little more coverage okay. yes does any board member have any questions about this not yet no okay and I know before we move on to the next thing I'm going to take some public comment on sure. the elevation portions of it and then because we're going to move into landscaping and other aspects do you have any do you have any comments or questions you'd like to yes Hi, Beth Holland, Novo Lab. Um, I have a question in regards to, is this, this building going to be residential? Yes. All residential? Yes. Okay, and then the other question I had was, is there going to be a sidewalk, a, a, a reasonable sidewalk put in front of this building? Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing there at all. There's no sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little towards Ashley, but there's no sidewalk. Not Wait. even to Richards, and I wonder if they even addressed Richards' issue if they got to got a hold of Mr. Black, I can't and think of Richard's name. I think but Black about here. the fencing. And we'll, when we get into the landscaping, we're going to ask that question. Great. The sidewalk we required as part of the special permit to go from their driveway 
all the way in front of Ashley Ridge to connect up to the sidewalk so that people from this complex have at full access to the, the sidewalk that can. So they can go left and right on a sidewalk? No, there is no going right in front of the complex. There's no sidewalks to connect to in that direction. So that's why there's no sidewalk. That's a big fault of this city. There's no sidewalks. But I guess it is what it is. Okay. So that's all gonna be residential. This was proposed instead right. of instead of the previously it was a 4,500 square foot um, office complex mm -hmm. that uh, was restricted to pretty much non-retail had to be service oriented type of businesses to minimize the traffic. We also had them address the traffic with this would be even less traffic than if it was a business or oh, yeah, our offices that. here to be to be residential. <coughs> Um, so they are proposing to modify the permit from that commercial piece that was also approved as what's called the planned unit development. So, uh, which was um, looking at it as a mixed use from the residential in the back to the office in the front. So they're proposing because of the demand now too, well in the e economics and the need for housing to change that into housing versus it being- So that whole unit's purpose. all gonna be residents? Yes. Okay. They're all, um, when it, if I say this incorrectly, they're 10 units, two bedrooms. And the first floor, the four of the units are also going to be uh, ADA accessible units. Is there um, any future to, with the city addressing any kind of widening the road from South Street, I mean, from Electric Ave towards Route 2 in front of that property? Because there's a lot of instances. I have to go way over on my left side to get to my road so people don't ram me. I'm not saying it's anything to do with that area right there, but it's getting so congested right there. So I think that's an issue that needs to be addressed when it, things get excavated and so on and so forth in the future in that property. Okay. That they might want to widen it. And that little area where the ramp is supposed to go to where the sidewalk is, that's that whole, right in front of Ashley there, that, that, that is just too thin. So I'm basically really going way over to the left still having cars coming at me to get into my road. So that area, they need to-, to Talking like almost like it's place. almost like a, another, a, like a lane so you can turn. So a lane, I, I can get into my road, but it's a matter that I, I'm adjusting myself going more towards head on to the, to, to the traffic that's coming. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming a little riskier all the time. So when they do go do the excavation, I think that it's recommended that they, widen that road in front of them there, just a little. I'm talking like a foot, because there's so much traffic that goes down in that street. I think it's just, it's just getting, I think it's, it's gonna get congested. More when you get, it widens out when you turn onto a Romano Ave scenario. Yeah. So it's a little wider at that spot. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Okay. Thank you. Well, appreciate you coming this evening and participating. It's been going for many years now. <laughs> it has been, so. Many years. All right, I, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Go. All right, and th is there anybody in our virtual world you can check on to? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's more to see, but I just want to check to see if there's. I think, I don't know if I can see that. I'm not sure what you're clicking on. Like, thank you, thank Dan. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Dan, can you check? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go into the um, landscaping aspect? Sure. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm just here for a reminder. Is that that one? That's this one, right? Gonna make, we're going to make sure we get the right one. Okay. That's the right one. That is. Yeah. I can only go. So if maybe we could. Maybe. If I go out, it goes way out. out. Oh. Yeah, start from the, the blow up of the building. We're going to move our way down. Or okay. Right there? Yeah. Perfect. You just so have to drag. You just have to use the bars sure. on the bottom and the side to move it. Yep. So the changes that were made to this, this landscaping was we remove the uh, arborvitae from the, the front that was just there temporarily mm -hmm. 
and we move them over to the to the side yard between the neighbor and the, there's some white pines that were being shown along with a fence. So those were all moved down into that area to fill in that whole area to make it a little bit more dense and mm -hmm. probably you? more appropriate than having it lined up like little soldiers out front. Did you speak with Mr. Black here? So uh, I have in the past, since the last meeting, I have stopped at his house personally uh, three different times. Uh, one of the last times I went, there was a black car in the driveway and I felt there was someone home, but no one came to the door. Okay. And the last uh, time I went, I have dropped a letter off that basically an introductory letter of myself and a phone number to call. So okay. I, I really made a, a effort. sincere effort in uh, trying to get a hold of him. And if and when he calls, uh, I'd be happy to go over with him and show him you know, what we're doing and to put extra trees or anything that he wants, I'm gonna accommodate it. You know, it's, okay. it's not uh, a big deal for me. And I don't think this is dissimilar from what the original plan was. Uh, no, we You've just got some added, extra added added the, there. It's like another layer. There was of, always going to be white pines correct. as part of the fence. Yeah, so there'll still be white pines and then added, the yeah. arborvitae will be correct. behind those. Yep. Correct. And then the Blue. fence, right? And that piece of fence, yep. Yes. There's a white vinyl fence there that way. Yes, and the white vinyl fence. Okay. Correct. Then the next row behind that between the building and the relocated arborvitae is some more low planting along the the foundation and the window wells. That was requested to have some planting along mm -hmm. there. So we're showing some low low plantings along there, evergreen. Because you'll see that coming up South Street. That's going to be a big view. You'll see that sure. side. Sure. Yeah, no, it's, that was a good suggestion. So then to the left of that, towards the parking lot, is where the, the condensing units are going to go for the split systems and uh, around it on two sides, screening the neighbor again, is a fence, a five foot, I think, yeah, five foot high fence, I believe, around that. And then another layer of landscaping. So not only you know, for screening for, for vision, but also screening for sound. Are you only doing it on the one side? You just may want to consider it on your parking lot side too, potentially. Yeah, we don't really need it on the parking lot side. If we put it there, the then access. any sound that would be coming from there would, would tend to want to reflect back the other way. So it's better just to have one, one wall so any sound that's reflected will just okay. go into the parking lot. Um, let's see, a little bit farther up. We're showing in the parking lot, there are a couple clouds in red. Uh, in that parking lot, we're showing two EV stations for charging, and then one on the other side next to the, the handicap space for EV charging. Yeah, is that like, is it, is it 10 or 20% of parking now has to have? 20%. 20%. And so we're showing three, and that's what's needed for this building is, uh, what do we say, um, one and a half per, so that's 15, and so 20% of 15 is three. Yep. Yeah. So that's taking care of that part of it. Now along the front, uh, we added along the sidewalk, the access sidewalk to the front doors, we added another layer of landscaping of low, there again, low evergreen with uh, dark mulch, you know, connecting the, the planting area at the corner. Mm -hmm. And within that corner is going to be a ground sign, you know, low to the ground. Oh, which corner? Two-sided, so you can see it from either, um, approaching it from either, either way on uh, South Street. Okay, Sorry. yeah, I mentioned, like, make sure we put, uh, any approve any um, location of signage, so as long as it's not in the sight distance, right? Correct. Always making sure they got Correct. sight distance. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be right up at the property yeah. line, yeah. so you can't see half of the road. It's either that or you, on, it's on the other uh, bed, on the other side by the fence even, but you might think about I've that. I've been like going back, and, back forth. and forth on even putting one there, you know, because of the sights and the, 
you know, the placement. Because if we, I thought about on the other side, then you only see it really one way. From one way. You know, yeah. so, so we figured we put it on there uh, and try to come up with some type of concept as low as we can. Mm -hmm. would or it's set back right. if it's not, well, yeah, you're not going to set too much far back. Right. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, it's set back, you know, and, and we'll meet all of the sign regulations. Um, and then let me see, what else did we do here? It's Cogs Hall. Cut for the other side. Yeah, and then I, you know, we, we clouded a, a note for doing the curb cuts on the other property down the street. Yes, for the correct. Correct. Yep, and that because th that just goes with the whole accessible piece to making sure everybody can get connected to the school, the park, everything, sure. and connect to the sidewalk. Because otherwise, everybody just takes a tour up to Ashley Ridge and has to turn around. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's no details there, and I think that that should be it. The, if you go lower into the other building, we put a dog. Uh, oh, that's right down at the. At the very end of the building in the backyard. Oh, um, yep. to the left, more, more, more. Yep, right there. Right there. And then we're yeah. going to have a sign, you know, mm -hmm. saying that this is a, you know, the Dog. exercise area or whatever. Please pick up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Amenities there. Any questions? Any questions or comments or anything else? No. The design looks good to me. I mean, there's been there's been an awful lot of yeah. a, a lot, lot of thought, compromises, you know, and modifications uh, to the original plan. And uh, I know that the original plan, everyone was talking about the, the height of the structure. And, and even though the height of the structure uh, may not be much different uh, than it is right now, uh, basically, with a good architect, it gives you the illusion of being much smaller, right. and, the, and the whole the whole building having much less mass, mm -hmm. much less of a presence. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of that, I think the structure just fits nicely on the lot. It's not a, it's not going to stick out like it's a wall or something like that. It mm -hmm. blends in to what you've done. So I think you've done a, a good job uh, with the with the building, and the, the additional landscaping is always a plus. I think the city uh, is in need of housing, like I said at the last meeting, and uh, to have quality housing is a, is a plus. Mm -hmm. So, well located, you know, close to Route 2. Absolutely, and I think that it's going to represent the city well because it's one of the main routes coming into Fitchburg mm -hmm. where, you know, you're going to see this as you're coming into the downtown. Right. So I think it's one of those things, you know, anytime I drive into a city, you start observing, you know, real different properties around. You get a feel for the city, and I think that it, it really is a, a key place uh, for that. You know, so I think the the beauty of it will go, you know, will speak for the for the city. And then also the quality of the construction. I mean, that's what sold the other building. You know, the build right Correct. up. I mean, it's um, spacious units uh, and highly efficient, energy efficient. It, handicap units, that's it, a huge plus. Right. I, I don't think maybe we even talk about this. The, the nature of this construction is very unique. There's no buildings in our whole area that are built with this. This, te this is a technology which is called ICF construction, uh, which is you just don't find it. Uh, it's a, it extremely, it's a very green construction type for energy preservation. Uh, which is the combination of the concrete and styrofoam systems they use. So it's a very unique construction. And you were mentioning that how thick the walls were. Is that part of that with the insulation with how thick? Correct. It is? Yes. Yes. Yeah. For sound, for, um, you know, your, your R values, your everything. It just contributes to that. So now I just have to work on, you know, painting, getting that fence painted on the other side. Correct. That the offer still stands. <laughs> for that, have you communicated with them at all, or sent a letter? Or? I, I haven't. I haven't. No. Okay. But I, I'd be willing to. I, that, I definitely want that to look. look at least nice. you might want to at least think of, um, you know, some of the like a tall spike of arborvitae style of something expire to, to plant things in front of it on the hill to kind of. 
Right. Soften it up or something. Just a thought, you know. But oh, it's you're, you're oh. right about that. <laughs> Interimly. Like that. So, board members have any questions or comments? And also, we can like circle back to if anybody has any objections or preferences. The four units on the main floor. This uh, ten units, four on the main floor, four on the second floor, two in the basement, and the four on the first floor are going to be ADA accessible, similar to the ones he has in the back uh, apartments, but also at least two of the units um, will have the uh, straight showers versus uh, tubs. And if I agree. Any of that? Okay. Follow and this to the Alex? Yes. I just want to okay. commend them. This is uh, a much uh, a better job than the, the one we saw, uh, that I saw last time. So this is a big improvement. So I want to commend them for that. Thank you. you know. I think the front, I, the, the different, the stone, the shaker, the siding, that I think does it, you know, I mean, before the first, the very first, and you know, a few months ago, was just like, it was so boxy. Where this, I, it just breaks it up enough that I think it, it does fit into the neighborhood much better. Thank you. Everybody wants to see something on that spot. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> just I right know. there. I know. Because I all you're seeing it right is the parking lot. Yes. <laughs> in front of that. So this will be a great en en enhancement and meeting the um, community need for housing as well. Yes. And that, and uh, yes, great. And uh, we appreciate your efforts. I know it's been a long haul <laughs> with this. It started last spring. <laughs> it has. We, we take uh, uh, a good, or I take a good percentage of the blame myself, so. <laughs> well, it's, it's at whatever pace you're looking at sure. um, um, for it, but it's uh, appreciated that you're taking all the board's uh, comments into consideration mm -hmm. sure. uh, with this too, and again, proposing um, this modification. So we do have the, any department comments? I'm not bring here. That, I have that up. Oh, you do have that. I don't know. Regarding the off-site curb cuts proposed to be constructed of the asphalt and with tactile warning services, DPW engineering typically requires that the transitions be set with specific VA 4-6 by 18 inch granite and the tactile warning panels be set in concrete as opposed to hot mix asphalt. Please contact DPW Engineering for specs. In addition to the ramps at 535 South Street, please consider previous requests from February 27, 24 meeting. Applicants should strongly consider improving ADA access to the site by installing ADA ramps in our RRFB to facility access to and from the site. Are they actually meeting the um, on on ramp? If you just push the site plan down just slightly to show the uh, sidewalk, yeah, that piece. I was trying to, and we'll forward you this co comment to work out with DPW on there. Are they referring to this? That's. Uh, I can read it again. Is there anybody from DPW on? I don't think so. Dan, is there any, is Jeff or Nick? All right. Just trying to make sure I'm reading it. I just read it verbatim. Applicant, uh, previous request from the last meeting. Applicant should strongly consider improving ADA access to, to the site by installing ADA ramps and or RRFB to facilitate access to and from the site. So they mean to the building itself? Well, we, we don't really need it's, uh, ramps because we don't have the, the rise that you need for a ramp. It's talking about facilitating access to and from the site. So I'm thinking, is, or, or are they meaning like at that corner there? Yeah. Um, particularly? Well, or to actually moving the ramp like to the corner. But that's not, you can have a slope and it's not considered a ramp. So a one in 20 slope, you, it's not a ramp. Um, and that's what we're gonna have throughout there. You, you don't need handrails, you don't need any of that with a one in 20 slope. True, but it's talking about on and off the site, so I don't know. Final yeah. 
the sidewalk piece coming on. Well, we don't have a top coat final also. So I don't know if that maybe is where they go. I know, right, because I mentioned that because it's, it's still a lip right, right. there. Also, in I, typically, too, I, it's like you have the, uh, the to getting on the sidewalk there, typically they're at the corner at the public way because someone, to get on the ramp, are going to have to go into your driveway. Get on and off the ramp. I'm um, right, no, saying don't versus even it being from that site because there's no sidewalks, right? Right. Well, say someone across the street wants to get on the sidewalk. But there isn't a crosswalk from the cross the street to there. No, I understand. And there isn't a curb cut across the, the street, street either. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we have to define yeah. what there. Right. So I think you need to what, what that recommendation is for talking about on and off the site. Is that we can go back to our February 27th? See the clock. If they make a similar comment. And then regarding the off-site curb cuts proposed to be constructed of asphalt and with tactile warning, engineering typically requires transitions, and you probably so understand that VA4, six by 18 inch granite and tactile warning panels be set in concrete mm -hmm. as opposed to hot mix asphalt. Please contact DPW Engineering for Well, is he saying that because we proposed having asphalt curb cuts at the other Correct. property? Yeah, that's what, it is. That's what he's talking about. The tactile about. surfaces. So yeah. he's saying he doesn't want tactile surface a in asphalt. He wants it in a, in a concrete pad if you're doing okay. tactile. Interesting. Yeah. I think that's what I'm getting from that. Is this where you want me to look? Do you want to get rid of the asphalt and just go with concrete now on the on the curb cuts? Yeah, because he wants that. I mean, you black, can that yellow yeah. set okay. into the into the right. concrete, right? It's just in those spots where you're having the tactile pad. Yeah. Yeah, so wherever we have the, the curb cuts, so we have four, four curb cuts, two off-site and two on-site, and we'll make those out of concrete with, with the tactile warning. Just like that. Okay. And we'll forward this comment actually to you. We can, Chantel, you can forward him the DPW comments because we just got that. Yes. DPW concrete at three locations, four locations. See, uh, can you scroll down a little bit, Tracy? There's a, um, um, I'm sorry, up. up. And then to the left a little bit, so the, bo the box to the left says curb cut note. General contractor shall furnish and install two new asphalt curb cuts with uh, tactile surface warnings per Massachusetts Access Board. Uh, located on the Abutters driveway entrance, Ashley Ridge, to South Bend. So that's what we're talking about over yep. there. And then he's gonna do the same over here. I think that's what he was getting at. I believe two right, in these right. two. Right. So that. Alex or Lynn, do you have any um, further comments or questions? Nope, I'm nothing from me. Okay. Yep, nothing from me either. All right. Anybody from the board here present? No, no Amanda. No. Um. I'm good, I'm ready to go. Okay. You want a motion to close? All right, yes, let's make a motion. A motion to close the public hearing. Thank you. The motion's been made with a? Second. Second, Second to close the public hearing. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Roll call vote. Alex? Aye. Lynn? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. All right, any discussion? I'm ready to vote. Looks like um, for the plans that were submitted, we have the elevations. It was like AC2, ACP2 elevation with the sconces. Mm -hmm. We'd use as the elevation with the materials as submitted. Correct. It's showing, so you've got the shingle, you've got the vinyl, you've got the stone, you've got the Correct. placements of where those are gonna be on the building. And per the landscaping plan provided here, as well, what else do we have? 
with all of the lighting, you've got the all of the um, AC units are going to all be to the rear with all the screening and just with the comment about doing the um, the sidewalk for the PPW comment well. and doing at least minimum of two of the units having showers That's on that fine. on the handicap side versus the f out of the four anything else am i forgetting one i don't think, I think so. so okay what's your timeline <laughs> yesterday <laughs> <laughs> um, i'm hoping i mean obviously before we went further with um, structure roles or anything else we wanted to make sure we got to this point so from you know this point forward we're gonna push with getting all the finalized structurals mechanicals uh, a bit of the mercy of the engineers for that but I'm hoping that maybe two months three months something like that great is real I think fairly three realistic is, is that good or yeah. three is realistic yeah okay okay so oh. okay just looking at like a timeline, you think you can complete this in um, within a year? What if I answered it a lot faster than the back building? <laughs> 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 would that cover me? No, the goal would be uh, within a year. Within yeah, a year. From, from starting to finish, yes. Okay. So. Most likely the. I mean, we got the caught. The shell of the building is probably going to be up before it gets cold. What do we right. say 18 months? Okay. I That's give fair. a buffer. That's fair. With that. All right, and there we have it. So Motion to approve the special permit and site plan modification for 579 South Street, number 2016 11. Yep. Second. With, with conditions. With the conditions as discussed. that the chair has recorded. All right, and Alex seconded. There's a second. Alex is a second. And we'll take roll call vote. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say opposed. Alex? Aye. Alin? Aye. Amanda? Aye. Peter? Aye. Tracy? Aye. Paula? Aye. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you all. You know, Thank you. you. You'll be happy with the finished product. You will. Great. Uh, looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And with that being said, if there's there's no other matters before us this evening. Motion to adjourn. Second. There's a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 None opposed. Good night. <laughs>